And we had Mike Johnson go up to Columbia. And very successful visit. Now, meanwhile, it's spreading across campuses. Dozens have been arrested at the University of Texas. Incredibly, dozens have been arrested at USC, near the library. They never go near the library at USC, so I don't know how that could happen. But they, they actually arrested people at USC, which are going to get mommy and daddy very upset because it costs a lot of money to get that. That's the uh, University of Spoiled Children, and we know that. Uh, from maybe they were demonstrating about the ban not having horns. I don't know. But Johnson called for an end to pro-Palestinian protests, including, if necessary, using force in the National Guard. Uh, here is Mike Johnson at the Columbia Presser with Jewish students at Columbia. Cut number three. So thank you all for being here today. We have uh, several members of Congress here. And we're here today at one of America's preeminent academic institutions on a very important day and a very important time. Throughout history, Columbia students have contributed to the great storybook of America's life and thought. Visionary American leaders like Alexander Hamilton and John Jay and the Jewish leader, Gershom Sheshis, knew the self-evident truth that was at the heart of this country at, and once at the heart of this university, and that is that we are endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights. They should not be infringed. The, the, the founders and, and the, the great leaders who had come through this institution in the past believed in religious liberty. They believed in democracy. They believed in morality and virtue and the dignity of every human person. They believed in the free exchange of ideas. And they detested mob rule. We are standing here right now on the steps of the Low Library. In this very building right behind us, Columbia University once awarded Winston Churchill an honorary degree, and it was Churchill who said, it is manifestly right that Jews should have a national home where they may be reunited. We believe in that Hello, principle. Speaker Johnson. He and was joined I'm by Representative proclaim... Mike Lawler of New York, cut number 14. And every single one of you students that support Hamas are an absolute abomination. It is shameful, shameful that you would support a terrorist organization that butchered and beheaded and burned innocent women, children, and babies. I went to Israel a month after the attack on October 7th, and I watched a 21-minute unedited video, raw footage of the attack. I watched exactly what Hamas did. And sadly, sadly here in America, we have students endorsing the butchering and brutality of a terrorist organization. Go on with uh, Representative Anthony D'Esposito, also from New York. Cut number 15. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. If you are a protester on this campus and you are proud that you've been endorsed by Hamas, you are part of the problem. When you cheer on the fact that you enjoy Hamas and Hezbollah, you are yourself part of the problem. Mr. Speaker, I am proud to join with you here today in calling for the immediate resignation of the President of Columbia. She has failed her duty. She is not keeping students safe. And we see on this campus the hate-filled speech that is carrying through this country. Then, finally, Representative Nicole Maliotakis also joined Speaker Johnson at Columbia. Cut number 13. I'm so proud of these Republicans for going into the heart of darkness, which is uh, the pro-Hamas terrorist supporters on Columbia campus. Let's go to uh, Maliotakis. We just met with a group of students who told us that not only have they been bullied, but they've been, many of them, assaulted. They have been spat on. They have had to walk the halls of this campus to see swastikas painted. These are clear examples of anti-Semitism, and it's shocking to see that it's happening in the most diverse and welcoming city in America. It is truly outrageous, and it's clear that the president of this university cannot control the campus. They can, she cannot and will not hold students who are doing these types of anti-Semitic activities accountable, and that you cannot keep the students who are of Jewish faith, who, who have paid a lot of money and have worked very hard to get to an Ivy League institution like this, that she cannot keep them safe. 
And that is why I join my colleagues in calling for her resignation.